guys, today I am going to be doing Cha Ching number 155 is what I am on. I feel like it's been a little while since I've done a Cha Ching. Uh, so the first thing that I have was a set of Red Bird salt and pepper shakers. They sold for $41 and I'm pretty sure Eric won these at an auction. I also sold a, these were by Blossom Bucket, they were fairly large Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy figures. You could um, hang them so they were like hanging wooden figures. I'd say they were about this, this tall. I picked these up at a yard sale. I think I paid 50 cents a piece for them, maybe a dollar a piece. They sold for $86 and they did go overseas. I sold a Dimensions cross stitch kit. This one was called Winter Lace and that one sold for $69.99 and I'm fairly certain that one came from a yard sale for $2 and it was brand new as well. Um, you probably will start seeing a decent amount of My Little Ponies, I feel like. Um, for a while you were seeing a lot of wrestling figures uh so now you'll probably be seeing a lot of my little vintage my little ponies um i'm still going through all of the ones that i have and i still have so many more to list it's just insane as well as play sets so you will see them sprinkled in here and there in my chings because they're selling pretty consistently so this first one i have was called sweet sundrop prom queen and you can see in the picture she did come with some accessories so that really does help <laughs> when it comes to um ponies or really any action figure like when you have clothes and accessories that really helps bump up the value of them so this one here sold for $49.99 I also sold a philosophy perfume called Fragrance for Your Soul that sold for $99.99. I have quite a few bottles of these. I think I still have a couple um, still available and those came from a beauty auction. Um, here's another My Little Pony. This one was called Bridal Beauty. This also had some accessories and clothing type pieces with her, like her veal and stuff. Um, that one sold for $77 and that same person purchased the next one, which was a Dance and Prance Pony and that one sold for $29.99. I also sold, this was just a sugar bowl, a Fire King Jadeite sugar bowl that sold for $32.99 and that did come from an auction. Next item also came from an auction, but this was in like a lot of some other stuff that we won, some vintage Christmas stuff. But this was two older um, Christmas uh, ornaments that were made from like... Um, paper and tinsel. Those sold for $39.99 for the set of two. I sold a Mackenzie Child salt and pepper shaker set. This was like a, a beet and a carrot. <laughs> um, I actually purchased this at the antique mall that we have our booth at um, from another vendor and that sold for $29.99 and I'm pretty sure I paid $4 for that set. I sold, this was still sealed, this was Sorry, um, but it was the electronic talking card game called Sorry. Um, that sold for $49.99 that came from an auction and I think Eric paid maybe $10, 8 or $10 for it. Um, we sold, oh that Flamingo Metal Fan, it was literally shaped like a flamingo. I picked this up at a yard sale. It sold for $119.99 and I think I paid $5 for it. So that was pretty awesome. I'm glad I took the time to look that up because I just thought it was really neat but I didn't really realize the, the value to it until I looked it up. Um, Let's see, I sold a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure. His name was Burn. Um, 
and that sold for $59.99. That came from an auction. It was the same auction um, where I was getting all the wrestling figures. There were some like other action figures mixed in and some of those were turtles. Um, I sold another Blossom Bucket piece. This one was a Halloween or fall kind of bear figure. Um, that one sold for $26. Pretty sure that went overseas as well. Um, let's see, we sold a Waterford Crystal Speedboat for $125. As well as, this is a cast iron skillet. This was pretty big. Um, it was by a company called Birmingham Stove and Range was the brand. So it wasn't like um, Griswold or uh, Wagner or Lodge or anything like that. It was Birmingham Stove and Range Company cast iron skillet sold for $190. Eric picked that up. I believe it was during that crazy church sale where <laughs> practically had a panic attack there because it was just... <laughs> just too much going on um and I think it was I want to say $40 he paid for that I sold a studio pottery French butterbell keeper for $29.99 that came from an auction this next item was a set of two ceramic wall hanging mermaids by Bradley they sold for $149.99. One did have an issue, but these hanging mermaids, they are worth good money. Um, even like the little, and this goes with like the fish as well, like the hanging vintage fish, like the little bubbles, they're like really hard to find. So even if you would find just one of the little bubbles, definitely pick it up because someone, someone would buy it. Um, let's see, I sold, this pottery piece was just really insane. This was by someone named Jack Midhour. It was a vase, vessel, but it was shaped like a clam and it had eyeballs. I don't know, there was a lot going on with it, but it was pretty amazing. That sold for $119 and that did come from one of the folk art auctions. It took a while to sell, but it did go. Um, let's see, we sold one of those brass mirrored glass um curio cabinets like the ones you hang on the wall you put like your little miniatures and stuff in that sold for $99.99 it was a pretty large one we got that at a yard sale um let's see we sold this is another waterford piece this was um waterford crystal a set of two millennium toasting old-fashioned glasses those sold for $85 and they came from a yard sale next item also came from a yard sale this was a set of nesting pantry boxes by someone named James Lesher so those were all signed really nice uh, stacking nesting pantry boxes those sold for $89.99 Sold a Jeanette Glass refrigerator dish for $22.99. Next item was a Pokemon Christmas ornament. This did take a while to sell, but it came from a fill -a bag rummage sale. So Grand Scheme paid maybe like a quarter for it. And that sold for $29.99. The next one, two, three, four things I went to a subscriber named Louise. She purchased a red flocked reindeer for $9.99. And then three of my perfume bottles, these all came from a church sale. Uh, the first one was a pink hobnail perfume bottle. That's over $12.99. Um, this next one was also pink with a flower on the top. This was uh, made in Austria. That one sold for $19.99. And then the last one was a little smaller one that was like an etched frosted glass. And that one sold for $12.99. I sold, this one is another of those brass mirrored Creo cabinets. We got it at the same yard sale, but it was smaller than that one that sold for $99. This one sold for $45, which was still really good. Um... I sold, this was just one um, early American press glass Vaseline child uh, punch cup that sold for $25.99. I believe that was by the company called Dewey. Um, 
so yeah that came from an auction but it was only just one that was the only one that was there I sold a jadeite ribbed canister for $39.99. This one was like a reproduction that was put out by Cracker Barrel, but people just really love jadeite. I mean, you can even sell jadeite pioneer woman stuff, so it does not have to be vintage by any means. Um, and that came from an auction. I sold a gem, like the vintage gem doll, just an outfit of hers. Um, this was a Rio Fashions gem outfit. That's over $69.99. I sold a, this was like a vintage look, um, Halloween witch kind of doll shelf sitter, had that primitive kind of look to her. Um, that's over $29.99 and I do believe that actually went overseas as well. I know I've said before, like I feel like it's harder to sell stuff overseas when it's like Halloween related, but um, there were two kind of Halloween related pieces that did go overseas in this stitching. Um, this next item was a sugar and creamer set. Um, the company was called Freeman McFarlane. Th this was so cool looking. I found this at an antique store and I just had to get them because I couldn't find any listed so it just they did take a while to sell but I just kind of fell in love with the look of them so I decided to to pick them up they did sell for $39.99 but like I said it did take a little while I sold a vintage from 1988 Avon bunny rabbit head earrings these were kids earrings those sold for $19.99 they came from a yard sale and I paid a quarter Next item was two uh, hair care things by Marula, Marula Oil. So one was a dry mist and one was a um, oil treatment. Those sold for $49.99 and they came from a yard sale. They were actually in this bag with some other stuff. It was like a shampoo, a conditioner, this dry oil mist and the, the oil treatment. It was all still like the bag and everything was sealed. And when I was looking it up, it was actually more profitable to sell the contents of it separately than it was to sell it as the whole. And sometimes that happens with stuff. Um, so you really gotta like look at things and you know what things are selling for because sometimes you can make more money parting something out than selling it as the original set kind of thing. So just something to think about. Um, I sold a vintage from 1986 Party Pocket Popple for $24.99. And then the next one, two, three, four things went to a subscriber named Linda. Um, I just want to give Linda a shout out here because she was in my last whatnot show and she purchased some stuff too. So as well with anyone, I don't want anyone to feel excluded because I know some of you who are subscribed to my YouTube channel do come over to my whatnot shows and just either, you know, hang out or, you know, buy stuff or that kind of thing. I really do appreciate it. Sometimes whatnot can be a little you know, it, it's it's hard sometimes when people aren't coming in. I've had shows where like no one really came and it's, it's hard to get through. So I really appreciate when people just come through, even if it's just to hang out. So Linda purchased a purple frosted glass perfume bottle for $26.99. Um, she also purchased a lot of six of these mini um, ball glass jelly jars. They had floral lids. Pick these up at a yard sale. Those sold for $19.99. And a Nippon, or Nippon sugar and creamer set for $19.99. As well as a green hobnail perfume bottle for $12.99. Um, also sold another perfume bottle. This one was um, like a Lucite plastic that had embedded um, roses inside. Obviously, they weren't real roses. This one was so stinking pretty. I won this at an auction. That one sold for $59.99. I sold a Lucite 
um, owl napkin holder for $22.99. This came from a yard sale and I think I paid 50 cents for it. Also sold a vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo Troll um, action figure for $24.99. Came from that same auction where the wrestling figures came from. Here's another My Little Pony. This one was called Chocolate Delight. She sold for $99.99. Um, someone had just the little ice cream piece listed for like 80 some dollars but I wasn't really seeing those kind of prices in solds or anything like that so I just started it at $99.99 on auction and that's what it ended for but oh, like with a lot of these ponies I have doubles of stuff so I actually have this pony listed again so and I started it at the same price. I sold this one. I have no idea who made it. It came with some other stuff I wanted a folk art auction. Um, it was a salt glazed pottery rooster, just this little chunky guy. It was super adorable. That sold for $19.99. This here is also a My Little Pony. They call these Dream Beauties, uh, but it's like a horse, um, a sky flyer. That sold for $99.99, so apparently these are more rare and harder to find. I sold a Gap Soap in the scent Alm for $29.99. That came from a yard sale a while back. It did take a while to sell. I think Gap had re-come out with some of those fragrances. I don't know if they came out with the soaps or anything again, but I do think they came out with some of those older fragrances that they used to have which kind of dropped the prices on some of those. I sold a green jade little duck figure for $19.99 that came from an auction. I also sold that set of Anthropology ceramic measuring spoons. I picked these up at a yard sale. They sold for $22.99 and I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar for them. Um, here's a whole lot of vintage wrestling figures. These were called bendums. So they were kind of like made of rubber and you could kind of bend and twist them a little bit. Um, so a lot of 27 of those uh, sold for $99. I didn't feel like listing those individually because individually, and here's like the complete opposite of selling stuff, um, parted out. There are some things like these figures really weren't worth much by themselves um, and I really didn't feel like listing them here and there for like three or four dollars a piece so just lotted them all up and they sold for the 99. And then the last thing that I have for this to ching went to a subscriber named Shannon. She purchased a set of Santa Claus salt and pepper shakers. Eric and I picked these up I think at a yard sale and they sold for $8.99. So that is pretty much everything for this to ching. My eBay sales are down 24.9%. Um, I definitely feel like eBay has been in the trash can lately as far as sales go. Um, you know, thankfully, knock on wood, I'm still getting sales fairly consistently, but I definitely, like, it has slowed down tremendously. And I know I'm not the only one feeling that. I know, you know, everyone's feeling that. Um, just, there's just so much going on in the world and things are so expensive um here lately um so you know it's fully understandable people aren't really you know buying things they don't necessarily need um as far as like collectibles and things go but uh you know there's still people who who are so thankfully uh they are there are some people that still um you know, are, are getting on eBay and looking for those things and buying them. But, um, yeah, you'll have to let me know in the comments if you feel like it's just been really bad lately. Um, I, I don't list on Macari super often. I have Macari listings and I was getting sales on there every once in a while. It wasn't anything crazy, but I feel like that kind of stopped too. Um, 
So yeah, I don't know. I just feel like the whole <laughs> reselling thing uh, is just, it's not going so great as far as sales go right now, which hurts a little bit in the sense of like, it kind of kills, I don't know if it does this to you guys, it kills my motivation to even want to list because it's like, why am I even bothering when nothing's selling kind of thing? So I just, I've been pushing through it though. I'm still, you know, getting stuff listed and I do think that's one reason why stuff is selling because I'm, I've been selling a lot of, um, ponies here lately because the collectors are still buying those and um i've been getting pretty decent um you know repeat buyers buying uh, a lot of the ponies that i've been listing so that's nice too um but yeah i don't know i just feel like things have slowed slowed down so so much um and it just it hurts it hurts the motivation, but, um, you know, things will eventually pick back up again. So we really do need to keep listing regardless of how it's making us feel <laughs> as far as motivations going. Um, but if you're feeling that too, no, you are not alone. I feel the same way. It does kind of drag you down a little bit as far as like your motivation when things aren't selling. Um, so that's pretty much everything for eBay. Uh, I did have a couple returns on some things. Um, just, uh, I think it was a pair of shoes that didn't fit. That's one reason I don't like selling shoes. Um, and what else was it? Oh, I sold a butter dish. And even though I had measurements in it, someone just didn't like the size of the lid to under plate ratio. So I had to re accept that return and, and relist it. Um, so there were a couple returns and that kind of thing, but I feel like that's pretty much been everything I really have to talk about eBay. As far as everything else goes, I have been trying to do whatnot shows a little more frequently. I've been doing them every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I do have one schedule for this week that is all glass. And then next Tuesday, it's going to be more of like auction box lot type of stuff. Um, and then I don't have another one scheduled after that, but I'm thinking of doing a book show because I'm getting a little overtaken with books. I just went to another book sale the other day with my friend and I got more books and my TBR pile is getting like outrageous because there's been so many great book sales lately. Um, but I have this stack of books, probably like, you can't see my hand, but it's down here. I have a huge stack of books that I'm finished reading and I'm looking to get rid of them. So I don't want to put them back on my bookshelf. I don't have room for them. I just want to move them along. So I'm probably going to do a book show as well. If there's anyone out there who is an avid reader and would like to check that out, I'll be scheduling that soon. So you'll have to just keep an eye out for it. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really want to talk about. Um, this week here is kind of busy. I am going to a concert with Eric. Um, and then, you know, he has some other things planned as well. So it's probably going to be a pretty busy week. I, I feel like it's been a while since I posted any kind of yard sale type of video. These weeks have been very busy. Like last week I went to, um, a book sale with my friend on it was on a Thursday and that's usually a day we start yard sales so I wasn't able to go yard sailing and I'm the type of person that like <laughs> if a yard sale started on Thursday I don't want to go to it come Friday because I just <laughs> assume everything good is gone I know I shouldn't think that way but that's just how I am I, that's how I think so I don't even want to bother at that point 
Um, so it's been a little while since I even went to some yard sales. I think the last one I went to was that church sale that you had seen. Um, but yeah, even that, like I've just been, since things aren't like selling so much and that kind of thing, like it's even been dragging me down as to like not even wanting to go to yard sales. So I apologize for that. I am slacking a little bit as far as like putting out YouTube videos. I've just been, you know, enjoying life, doing things, planning things, like doing other things other than what, you know, my YouTube channel kind of revolves around type of thing. Um, so yeah, I, I guess I've been a little bit of a slump as far as as um, even making videos, really. Just like, there's other stuff I want to do, you know what I mean? Like, I'm so looking forward to this concert and, you know, there's just, there's just other stuff. So, um, I don't know, I guess I'm in a slump. I, we all get that way with things. So, I apologize to you guys, cause I know, you know, there are people out there who really do enjoy, like, look, forward to my videos so and the fact that I'm not putting them out as often I do feel like I should apologize for that but um you know I will regain that fire again hopefully here soon and um you know get some more videos out in a little quicker of a pace but right now I'm just kind of you know me <laughs> know how to explain it other than you know just um relaxing and <laughs> taking time taking time off it's like taking taking a little mini vacation even though we haven't really been going anywhere like ah, I'd love to go to the beach but you know having Amelia too makes it hard like I even feel bad leaving her to go to this concert like I don't even want to leave her like it's just it's so bad <laughs> I'm so attached to this dog um but yeah I think that's all of my ramble for for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know um, your thoughts down in the comments, like how things are going for you, if you feel the same way when it comes to, you know, your motivation and things like that, or if you have any, like, tips for me to kind of, like, get myself out of those kind of, like, slumps <laughs> let me know what works for you um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed and i will see you next time